Let's see. Good evening, everyone. Uh, why don't I call? I think we're going to have a short meeting this evening, so why don't I just call it to order? Uh, it is 6.01. Uh, this is the Finance Committee meeting of uh, February 14th, 2022. In attendance, we have Michael Bennett, myself, Tom Connolly, Todd Dargy, uh, Cheryl Zarella burke and John Smalling. Um, also in attendance, uh, uh, Linda Cole, Sandy Nolan, and Cesar Colaro. Um, all right, folks. Um, first thing we have is uh, on the docket is just uh, could I ask for a motion to accept the minutes of seven fourteen as Linda's provided them to us? Sure, motion to accept. Uh, seven. I'm sorry, of seven seven. Motion to accept. Second. Thanks. A roll call vote. Um, Cheryl. Yes. Michael Bennett. Yes. Todd. Yes. John? Yes. And myself, Tom Connolly, that carries. So thank you. Our minutes from last week are carried. Uh, do we have any updates from the committee on, uh, on the budget? Any conversations or anything that you want to share? I suspect not, but just checking. No. If, okay. if the, no one from the committee has one, I do have a couple of updates. Okay, so Cindy. I was informed by Gordon that the dispatch services line was going to go up to 200,000. That's a contract number. Mm -hmm. um, he's, I did check with the fire chief um, also to make sure we didn't need any extra money in there because a lot of times it's the amount plus some extra for hardware. He said the 200,000 should be fine. It may go back down, but he expects it to stay right around the 200,000. Where was it? I'm so, sorry. I didn't know that line. That's all right. It was at 163. Okay. So it's gone up um, a bit from that. Okay. And then um, with the conversation with, I, I explained to you earlier that I hadn't had a chance to look at all the um, the budgets as they came in. I was just getting them on the one one drive. Um, when I did look, um, I did have a conversation with the administrative assistant from the police, and she did inform me that the police had included the lieutenant position, which I was not under the impression they were going to include unless we had funding from the marijuana facilities. Mm -hmm. um, that was, I believe, was what the arrangement was. I had been told that by... Um, one of the selectmen. So that might be something that would be able to come out. When we do talk to the police chief, you should be discussing that he has an additional position in that I don't believe is supposed to be added at this time. Okay. All right. All right. That will help bring it down. But currently yeah. um, we are up and I did put up the new FinCom budget status, uh, budget sheets today. Okay. Um, just so you can take a look at it. I think we're about 250 in the red. So um, we do have some work to do as far as bringing some of the budgets down. Okay. Did the, I went through HES or during the week. I went through the HES budget mm -hmm. and, and um, Silver Lake. And is there, any, is there any movement on any of those, on either of those? So there isn't. A lot of times... The school committee waits for the finance committee to give them direction. So that might be something that you guys want to talk about, um, sending a, a memo to the Halifax Elementary School Committee and to Silver Lake about um, trying to come up with a version two that would be would show some cuts. Because I believe um, I was talking to Gordon about it. And he said that he believed they were waiting for direction from the finance committee. Okay, I don't recall us doing that in hmm. the past, but I, but I, uh, I wasn't on that committee before. Should we should right. should we do a memo to the school committee? Should we talk to the business manager? Should I talk to Summer? I mean, the instructions on the on the sheet for HES, for example. Should I talk to to Summer and do it through a, through a uh, through the committee, or it's a or should it be as formal as a memo? Um, I think maybe if, I think it would be a good idea to do a memo myself. Okay. Linda, when do we have the schools on for coming into the finance committee? So the school wanted to either meet, um, 
I believe it was March 7th or April 4th. So March 7th, we already had two of the bigger departments, I think it was, um, scheduled for then. So I had asked her, what about uh, April 4th? So tentatively, they're scheduled for the beginning of April, which is probably better um, it, because if we ask them to go back and look yeah. at what they're doing, that'll give mm. them some time to hopefully come up with a second one before they meet with you. Right. And I would I would do the me memo sooner rather than later, just because um, we usually try to go to print the beginning of April. Yeah. So I'll make, I'll make sure that we have that out this week. All right. Um, all right. So that, that's on me. Um, I think um, Fred did it in the past. I think maybe he, because he was a liaison, he might have talked directly to the schools and told them, because I remember it coming up so. last year too. Okay. Okay. I think it was. I, mean, I, I remember Fred talking about that. So, but I think we can, we can probably just, we'll do both. Um, I, did get a, I did get an email from Summer. The day of the HES committee meeting, but we already had this, and I honestly I didn't see the email until the day after, so I, I missed. She they did invite me to that committee meeting to to talk to them about it, and I missed. Yeah, the email. unfortunately, um, they always meet on the same day that you did that you yeah. meet. So that would have been important, though. Um, yeah, I think even the day that they um, asked if they could meet, that's why she said March seventh or eight or whatever it was, because she wanted to meet on a day that they were already meeting. So she just asked if they could meet that same night with us. Okay. okay. Sorry guys, I somehow muted myself. Any input on any of the other budgets? Okay. Um, any, any correspondence, Linda? There was none. Okay. Um, Public participation, I see Sue is here. Okay, um, any other business from the committee? I have a question about the ethics. Didn't we just do those last year? Yeah, I, I was confused by that. So I sent a note to, I sent a note to Ed because um, the note that went out was to all employees and we completed the online training. So I, I demurred. <laughs> I said that I wasn't available and that I wasn't sure that it was that it was relevant. So um, let's see what Ed says. He'll come back and let's see what he see how he responds. Whether we have to do something else, um, but that training's tomorrow and the following night. I, I think it's probably impossible for us to to go. And I know that we all just went through the online training, so we'll leave it leave it at that. Yeah, and it was uh, supposed to be equivalent to the state training. Yeah, as yeah. according to one of the emails. Okay. Yes, it's basically the um, same the same mm -hmm. training that you're doing okay. when you're doing it online. When you do it online, okay. Mm -hmm. It's I think they just asked town council to come in and do it in person. Okay. Um, Todd, could I ask about the um, Cheryl? You, you clear on that? We good there? Yes. Okay. Um, Todd, can I just ask um, because I think going into this discussion with the schools. Um, your your creative ideas committee and kind of getting that off the ground is probably something that we should either add as an agenda item here or do a subcommittee with. Have you given that any further thought? Because I think it's a great idea, and I think we're going to have to get serious about kind of what we're what we're going to do there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we need to have like a, almost like a brainstorming session just as far as like how it's going to be structured and stuff. So I saw that um, you know Caesar had created the the folder, but like we don't even have edit access to that, so that somewhat defeats the purpose of kind of you know a collective uh, you know dumping ground, I guess, of ideas you know as a collection point. So we'll need to we'll need to assign somebody maybe as a collector or facilitator of that. Um, you know what I mean? And then yeah, maybe we have um, you know like an agenda point each week where we can kind of just you know kind of that's my gears and things of that nature. But I think a lot of it too will probably will require some side session discussions, right? Just to kind of you know, kick the tires on a few different ideas. But I think as a first step, what I what I had envisioned was that we would have kind of that list, right? That is kind of like we can just people can add stuff to, and then we can kind of like talk through them and kind of you know, progress that way. Was my initial thoughts. And I recall now, yeah, you had we so we've got the folder set up, but we don't have access. Is that our? We have read only, not edit access, I guess. So. Oh, okay. 
So yeah. we need added access to that. Caesar, if you're on, on the line, if we could get that added to the folder, because then we could start dropping dropping ideas in there. It seemed like there was some restriction though, right, Caesar? Yeah. <clears throat> um, so department heads, and this is at least my understanding of how you guys wanted it, department heads would p put their ideas into their, the finance committee board of selectmen would be able to pull those. But if it's the expectation that, um, in addition to finance, board of selectmen and department heads would all put ideas into there and, you know, grab them and view them or, or whatnot. Um, I, I'll just have to talk to Ed on how we're, we would handle that in terms of uh, open meeting law violations. Just because if you guys are sh collaborating on content within the folder, whether, you know, editing a document at the same time or, you know, doing any sort of work that, that's considered a violation. So um, we're just trying not to put ourselves in a situation that gets us in trouble. Yeah, I, I fully respect you've got a, you've got a, um, that open meeting law has to operate. Um, and we've got to, we've got to abide by it. On the other hand, uh, when we talked to Gordon and others about this at the joint meeting, it seemed there seemed to be quite a bit of receptivity to finding ways for us to deal with this fiscal issue. So um, I, I can, I can off the top of my head right now, I'm thinking of an alternative method that would at least allow you guys to get content uploaded without, you know, getting into the possible open meeting law issues. Um, so I will review that over the course of the week and hopefully have something to you guys by the end of it. Yeah, I mean, or as an alternative, if we had somebody that could kind of be dedicated as the central collection person and we just email items over and they can just drop it in. So, you know what I mean? That Maybe that's an option too, I guess. If yeah, we... whether Linda or someone like that. But, yeah, but, yeah. I, but I get, Caesar, if you could if you could work through this and just come back to us on, on how we can do this. I mean, I'm not sure how the finance committee can add a lot of value on developing options for, I mean, it's kind of our mandate to help figure out our way out of this quandary that we have right now, um, besides just telling people to cut their budgets um, or yeah, right. or, um, yeah. or have an override. Um, yeah, I will say you guys will have the ability to view anything that gets in there. So really the only restriction you guys have in, ter in terms of how people are going to use it is literally uploading content. Okay, so I, guess, I guess you're not understanding that the mission here is for this group to come up with ideas. So... It's, it's great that we'll be able to look at other people's ideas, but we are looking for a place to have a repository for the ideas that this group may generate. So that's the, that's the task at hand, is where, where can this group collaborate on those um, in, a, in a forum that we are happy to review it. We can make it an agenda item on this meeting every week to review every item that goes into that folder, but we need a place to work. And that's that's what we're asking for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A place where you can put notes and comments, and you know, shuffle things around and priority orders and things like that. These are just so we, you know we have a working space. Everything, we'll make everything in that folder subject to public scrutiny, and we'll review it here every week if we need to. But we need a place to be able to come up with those ideas. I will see what I can do. I understand the task at hand. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I just um, wanted to point out to Caesar's doing a um, also training on the OneDrive. So if anyone has been having trouble accessing their OneDrive or um, understand, I don't totally understand the way it works. And I had asked Caesar to do some training. He's actually set up like, like about five sessions. Um, and they're all the same training from what I understand, but different times for people. So I believe you got that email. And if not, I can make sure it's forwarded to you all. So if anyone needs a little help on understanding how to use the OneDrive, that would, um, Caesar is going to do some training on that. So I just wanted to let you know that was available. Thanks. All right, any other business, folks? Okay, just a reminder that next week is President's Day. I will be playing with Mickey Mouse. Um, so <laughs> yeah, uh, fun. We'll, Lucky we'll you. see you, we'll see you the following week. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Thank you all. Um, so, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. You're a second from Cheryl. So, roll call vote. Michael? Yes. Todd? Yes. Cheryl?
Yes. John? Yes. And myself, Tom Connolly, motion carries. Thank you all. Have a wonderful week. Happy Thank Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Good night, everybody. Take care, everybody. Good night.